Hey guys, so I literally just woke up. I actually woke myself up about 10 minutes early just so I could prepare for this. And well, today's video, today's video is going to be on the best way to lose fat. I know a lot of you, a lot of your New Year's resolutions that you want to lose fat. So, I'm going to teach you the two best ways to do that. And a little fun fact about me is I like to get up early in the morning to go get a workout in before work. So, I will see you in the gym very soon also. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up from this position for like five minutes. I worked legs yesterday and my, my legs are killing me. So, let's see how well that goes. But, see you at the first place. Well, I did not think I would actually do that. First time I've ever done that. Honestly, that third rep, I was struggling a little bit. I'm like, oh God, how am I going to get this? But somehow, by the grace of God, I got it. So guys, if you cannot tell right now, I just hit a, a PR squat. So I just hit 295 four times. I'm still working up to hit 315 five times, that's my goal. That I go by the end of bulk, so by next month, I'm hoping to get that. Well, so the first point when it comes to the best way to lose fat is to, number one, start exercising. And whenever people think of the best way to lose fat, they always think, oh, go jump straight to the cardio machine. No, you don't want to do that, okay? Cardio, I'm going to repeat this again, if I have not done it already, cardio does not burn fat. It will help you lose a few extra calories. It'll help keep your cardio system in shape and efficient, but it is not going to help you lose weight. If you really want to lose weight, you're going to have to lift weights. Why? Because when you lift the weights, like when you're curling, you are damaging your bicep. And how is the body going to repair itself? It has to reach deep into the fat stores to grab out what it needs to repair it. And when you start increasing your muscle mass, like for every additional pound of muscle you build, your body has to burn an additional 40 to 50 calories at rest just to maintain it. And naturally by lifting weights, you're going to up your metabolism. If you were already couch potatoes, it's going to be a huge jump for you. Don't go too hard, but honestly guys, the number one, first of the two best ways to lose fat is to start lifting weights. Oh man guys, I just got back home from working. Like. I know I've not been too good getting these YouTube videos out, but I'm going to try and fix that very soon. Actually, I'll go over this in a later video, like what my goals are for 2020 and what you can expect. Because honestly, well, as you know, events that happened in the later part of this year really derailed me. And now I'm trying to get back on it. So, you know what? Let's get it. And also, here comes the number two way you are going to lose weight. Number two. Well, part two of the best way to lose fat. Here it is. And it's not a pill. It's not a magic drink. Tom, I'm looking at you for six-pack shortcuts or six-pack factory, whatever the hell it is now. And it's not any stupid-ass ab machine either. Here it is. Here comes number two. Uh, see that? Yep, that food made by my sister. Oh, for, okay, now it zooms in. Yep, she made that. And my mom right there, she wants to say hi to you. <laughs> That's the benefits of having a sister who knows how to cook. And just, well, did you learn how to make this? Yeah. Okay, guess she learned how to make it. Following a recipe. That's what I usually do too. Well, once I eat, eat these three, it's going to be about six or seven that I've had so far. Yeah, I, I eat a lot. And there is no better way to wash down tacos than with Martinelli's. Cheers. 
Yeah, cheers. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because why not? It, it's still a holiday. It's still New Year's Day until midnight. Happy New Year! Yeah, I didn't get to say that to you guys. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Future is clear with 2020 vision. Yeah, what she said. Let me know how often you've heard that 2020 joke. Now guys, now that I'm done eating about like eight tacos, six tacos, okay, six. Don't worry, Leanne, I'm not, I'm not that fat just yet. Didn't say you were. Good. Yep, tis the season for bulking still. So the second point is that food is going to be the second best way to lose fat. Let me explain why. Unlike what was written in the Declaration of Independence, not all calories are created equal. Let me explain that a little bit. So when it comes to your diet, you may point out that a cupcake has the same amount of calories as a cup of rice. But I hope you can tell me which one is better for you when it comes to losing Cupcakes. that fat. Thank you for that. <laughs> Don't listen to my sister. She's just an elementary teacher. Who loves life and enjoys cupcakes? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tell you to stay away from simple carbs, which are things such as cupcakes, Cupcakes, cake, cookies. cookies, pastries, all stuff like that. Stuff that you love to cheat on your diet with. Why should you stay away from those? Because they're actually easily digested, which makes you hungry faster, so you're going to eat more of it. Why should you eat complex carbs? Because complex carbs are actually broken down slower by the body, which means you're going to stay full for longer. Complex carbs include things like quinoa, well if, if you can stand it, brown rice, whole grains, potatoes, stuff like that. And then the meats you want to eat if that's what you're into, if you're not vegan or vegetarian. The meats, I would definitely suggest doing lean meats like chicken, fish, fish being good for omega-6 fatty acids, which if you're trying to lose weight, don't go on a low fat diet, I'll go then to that in a later video. Definitely fish, lean beef, or turkey if you're tired of eating chicken and fish. So when it does come to your diet, let me give you a little example right now. If let's take a typical American snack, which is a Snickers bar and a pop. Wanna guess how many calories are in that? Zero. I mean they would like to think it's zero, <clears throat> but it's really not. I would times that, but well, you can't times things by zero. See, guys, I'm not a math person. I'd say that's about 600 calories in that alone, and that's not going to hardly fill you up. So if you think if you're consisting off that, you're eating enough to really fill you up, you're going to be eating a lot of calories, and a lot of those calories are going to be stored as fat. But if you decide to do the typical great bodybuilding meal of cup of well, don't do a cup of dry rice. I tried that before and then cooked it. That was a bad idea. But a cup of cooked rice, chicken breast, and broccoli. Want well, to know how many calories that meal is? That meal right there is going to be around seven, more around four to six hundred calories. Yep, that's it. Four to six hundred calories for that meal. Which one's going to fill you up more? Snickers bar or pop? or chicken, rice, and broccoli? I hope you say the right answer. Snickers. Yeah, cause, yeah, totally. Snickers. My sister likes to chime in in the background. If you're hungry, eat mm -hmm. Snickers. Mm -hmm. That's the commercial. <laughs> so I don't like the commercial where if you're hungry, you just eat a Snickers. I'm gonna tell you to avoid that, to lose weight. And if you're hungry, eat a chicken breast and rice. A good bonus to eating a good diet of complex carbs, lean meats, and also plenty of veggies and fruits. You gotta get those in. Those have incredible micronutrients that your body needs to perform as best. One key thing about this one bonus is that it's going to help you, not only is it going to make you feel better, but it's going to help you perform better. Because if you put terrible gas in a car, you're not going to get very much out of it. But if you put great gas in it, you're gonna get a lot out of it. 
So that's one added bonus of having a good diet. You're going to be able to work out harder, which will translate to your goal of wanting to lose that fat. Now guys, all this stuff here, I'm going to be organizing it very soon. I know it's pretty junky down here, but going to get cleaned up soon. So before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much for watching these videos. I know I've not been posting a lot lately, but try and get that better. And also, I'm going to try and get videos out every Wednesday and Saturday. So I hope to see you then. And also, if you have not done it yet, go ahead, follow my Instagram channel for all the workouts that I do post. And also, if you want to build the body of the dreams, the body you deserve and get that muscle, hit me up in my DMs with muscle and we can start talking. Also, join my Facebook group. It will be linked in the description down below. And go like my Facebook page too. If you want more content like that, hit that like button. Comment any topics you want me to cover in the future down in the comment section below. And subscribe for more content coming soon. And I'll see you all later.